Hello, it's me again, back again to try to express this thing that I keep trying to express. Okay, so here goes. I've been trying all afternoon to make this video and I've been trying to make this, these videos, I, I keep trying, right? Like I just, I keep trying. Um, but at the root of me, in general, anything to do with online anything just doesn't exactly work. But for me, anyway. Um, and what I've come to realize is that I think that I'm just really, really coming to terms with these core fundamental values and beliefs. And I'm trying to figure out a way to explain it and to express it in a way that it makes sense and that it comes across and in my real life and I, I just I can't so what I've come to realize is that right now I need this uh, I made that video last time four people watched it thanks for watching uh, it probably didn't exactly say much and I don't even really know how much of this one's going to say because I keep waffling and trying to, I have so much that I think and feel and sense and want to get out. Um, and why I come here is because I feel really alone. Um, The truth is, I am, I am me, and that's a big statement for any of us to make. We are all ourselves, and when you start to really realize that and come into who you are after all of these experiences, um, that knowing of like who you are gets clearer and clearer as you get older so i really understand that and and maybe a lot can't but i've known since i was really little that i was very very different and i i think that i've just been trying to play a character and for the last 18 months or so uh like that the role for that character has been on this weird pause but also on a strange fast forward and now I can feel like that character's role is ending or that a show is is coming to an is is done like and but like my character has had all of these experiences and me my higher self feels like it's kind of my higher self and my person self are starting to really come together and I guess that's part of that energy of what's going on right now is that union energy <clears throat> and I feel sort of like I'm mourning or I'm grieving because in many many ways I've come so much into who I am and to come to understand who I am and I really want to explain that to anybody who will listen but it takes a lot and it's weaving path and and as I've tried I've just noticed that I find myself more and more and more alone because I don't resonate with the show anymore and I'm grieving that and I'm mourning that um, but it's also taught me all of the lessons and it's brought me to this point. And so I feel very, very, very much more whole 
as who I am, but I feel much more isolated from the world because I've come to grasp just how differently I think than the rest of the world. And so this is, this is my call to you, the world, whoever listens. Um, and these are just a few of my ideas and I have no idea how it's going to come out. Uh, I've been, these are my handy dandy little uh, notebooks that this is my 2021, I called it the journey. And this is the first time that here we are July 6th and I've got like 10 pages left in it. It's been a profound year with lots of thinking and experiencing and learning. And that's just since January and I try to keep one of these. Um, and the thoughts are broad and they're all over the place. Um, and I've really, really tried to remove myself from uh, experiencing too much as a witness to outside distractions. Um, it's been part of that, that call toward wherever this is that I'm going. Whatever it is that has landed me here and feeling pretty solo and asking for some help. So, um, I don't remember what I was saying. I got distracted by this little spider that's crawling toward me, or ant. Oh yeah, so I was talking about how I'm feeling the isolation. So my experience on this planet has been very much one of always trying to fit in and never quite feeling like I did. I make friends pretty easily and in general people like me and and I like people but I've always felt like there was something more going on some bigger thing and I've always I've always been very 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 observant um, I pay attention to a lot that's going on I do miss things of course but I, I really I find that I take in a lot and that can be a lot too much sometimes and then I have to filter that all through and figure out where I stand and generally more often than not I try to take a higher perspective where you know I can see this side and I can see that side and all of the other sides and I put it all together and that's where I stay frozen and I talked about that in in the last video um, There are certain hard truths that have always rang true since I was very young. And one of those is I've had a very, very active, vibrant dream life where I had such vivid, profound experiences in my dreams that I've often thought that like, either they were trying to show me something, prepare me for something. Um, I had a wildly vivid imagination. I was broken. Um, or that like, since I was little, I thought, what if I'm actually going to sleep in this world and I'm waking up in a whole different experience? Um, but then in the last, well, when, when all of the virus stuff started, um, I started looking back at some journaling that I'd done I started remembering dreams and they pop in more vividly and now like I just pop into them and they keep coming and 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 the dreams from like 20 years ago are coming back to me now and things that happened in those are happening now and so I'm seeing that some of that was in preparation um, I'm sensitive very very sensitive and I, I feel a lot and I sense a lot and I, I do things and I make decisions that to the outside world seem kind of either crazy or weird or out of the normal and and you know I seem sad a lot and I am but I don't know how anybody can't be sad when you actually step back and look at the world and we start to really pay attention and and I've always been like this and I've spent my life trying to put it under 
just to bury it and to, to put it away and and to not not be so much that way you know being told not to be so sensitive and not to think so much and and I keep saying like it's not a matter of me being too sensitive or me thinking too much or me reading too much into things or me worrying too much it's it's this unstoppable unseeable force that sometimes can defy logic but oftentimes takes in logic but it's bigger than me and it's just a knowing and over the years I'm 41 so over the years I've made slow changes to to the way that most people exist and the way that I exist and mostly it was because I was compelled like I didn't want to follow the crowd because I just didn't never I thought I never wanted to be a follower um, institutions that I just never really believed in the the ever-ending quest for more 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 I just could never understand and and things that I was naturally called to like running around barefoot in the forest and and doing like earth magic as a little kid singing and making music and 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 caring and observing and wanting to help and wanting to do something differently those are things that have always been in me I can I'm sure I talked about it in another video but like I can remember being eight years old and crying because they were cutting down trees and that the rainforest was being deforested and I could feel it and it hurt me and I couldn't understand and then I wanted to know more um, and I started asking questions and I started wanting to know more and as I've wanted to know more more questions came up I hear people talking about their awakening and when I awakened and when I awakened and when I went through my awakening and I think to myself like how are you done already I how are you done already because I think that even, you know, the most awakened guru or light person or anybody out there, as long as they're still walking and talking, um, frig, even if they're like driving cars and caught up in capitalism, um, if they're still breathing this air, I think that they're still probably going through awakening, I think. Um, because the more you, there's so much, we can't know it all in this version of things. We can't. And so I think it's our responsibility, or at least it's my responsibility to ask questions. So I ask a lot of questions, a lot of questions, and for some reason, it ends up making me a lot of enemies. They're not necessarily enemies, just people don't know how to take it, or it triggers them, or I don't know. I just feel like I've gotten to a place where I'm very, very sure about what feels right and what doesn't feel right, and I try to go with what feels right and move away from what doesn't feel right without is without judgment just to listen to those feelings and and try not to listen to the videos or read too much or do too much that is in any way of an influence outside of me to just be able to feel and get senses of what's going on just through a meditative quiet grounding process I spend a lot of time outside I spend a lot of time barefoot um, I always have. I thought everybody did. I thought everybody loved barefoot walking. I, I, for me, shoes are like a prison. Um, but apparently it's not a thing, and I really think you should try it. Um, I 
I ask a lot of questions and I observe a lot and then I get to a sense and I often write it down now because I want to be I, I don't know why I still want validation but I do it's just maybe part of the human experience I need validation I need some sort of support or some sort of encouragement or to not feel like I'm crazy because like I'm seeing or experiencing things this way so then I go looking to see like hmm I'm feeling a stirring inside I should go check the news and see if something's happening or if they're reporting something and and so I go and I, I do a little bit of looking and seeing and oftentimes I do find that there are other people that are expressing similar concerns and similar feelings and, and, and that there are wavelengths of these thoughts and these feelings going throughout the, the planet, right? So I know I'm not alone, but here in this human experience, <laughs> right now I'm feeling very alone very um, I feel like my character has been written out of this story or like my character never really was in this story but my character had to play the character in order to get to this place to be able to take the next step to do whatever it is that I'm supposed to be doing which is why I need your help <laughs> so the core of me and who I am is authentic I do love and I do care and I, I like if I tell you I love you I mean it if you become my friend I, I it matters to me I do want the best for everybody and I will listen to you but I'm not good at not giving advice I'm not good at just sitting back and watching people do the same things over and over and over and over again and expecting a different result and I'm to blame too um, or expecting things to last or work out like you maintain your vehicle you maintain your teeth you 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 maintain or you should try to maintain a healthy diet you maintain the things that you don't want to fall apart and I find that we just live in this world of distraction so instead of actually maintaining the things that like really really matter we're distracting ourselves and those things are falling apart and they are crumbling and And I can see it but I'm not allowed to talk about it so that's why I'm here and I know that there are people out there that are talking about these things and I feel like if we could all get together and some of us are thinkers and idea people and and people that ask questions and and people that observe and people and then there are the people who can take the action and have the resources and can and can do the things I feel like if we stopped trying to have these separate systems everywhere that are trying to control this thing and trying to control that thing and trying to control this thing and trying to control that thing that like none of it's working it's all broken at its core and there are thought leaders out there that are really starting to look at different ways of things and at least asking questions and there are people that are going no I won't do it that way this is the way and there are people who have ideas and I'm kind of one of those like I have so many ideas that I want to share and I want to act on and I've already given up so many things for the, the the status quo way of living and I'm I'm cutting more and more every day recognizing that I I'm drawn to 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 do something and that is that earth focused way of living I want to do everything I can to ensure that this planet is cared for I think about her as a living being because she is and everything that we do in every decision that we make in every want that we have if we were to put her first that would then be putting us first and then we might have a chance and we could have a really beautiful future a really beautiful life but that really requires giving up a lot and we exist in such a greedy world 
and I've made a lot of enemies. I, I don't think at the end of the day they really consider me enemies. I think they probably still have a lot of respect for me, but I'm not afraid to tell it like I see it, um, make suggestions, and I'm getting to a place where I'm pretty hard and fast about what actually matters and what doesn't, and that kind of makes me look like an asshole in this capitalist world. Um, fancy cars, giant houses, home... In, in, in exchange for homelessness and poverty, depleted soil, soil erosion, um, ill health, extreme, extreme, extreme extremes of, of poverty and riches at, in, in the name of what? In the name of what? I am compelled to live my way, my life in a way that it is in repentance almost to the things that we do and I want someone, some people to go on this journey with. <laughs> I need some people to like help because I don't have the resources right now. I have the will, I have the ideas, I have the, the desire, the drive, the passion to do something different. I've been doing something different. I've given up my reliance on the outside world of, of government control as best I can. Um, I don't ask from them. They don't give to me. Um, I can't do the nine to five thing because I'm not interested in continuing to contribute to other people getting rich while other people are starving. Uh, I'm trying to eliminate as many of my mo as many personal possessions as possible in an attempt to be more minimal. Um, I'm trying to get to the land to be able to regenerate her and spread that awareness. I feel deeply called to explore my indigenous roots. I don't know why, but I feel like there's some sort of magic that I can help with. I need to do something. I'm ready to do something, but I need the people. I, we need to be together doing this. Um, so I'm in Nova Scotia, Canada, and I'm pretty, f pretty much free agent um, with regards to being able to go forth and share ideas that are conducive to a new tomorrow. Um, I'm willing to drop the constraints. Uh, there's so many things that I just can't get behind anymore that I can see the flaws in from the media to the governments to corporate to religion to to the harm and destruction we're doing to the way relationships and families are to how we structure things to the narratives to the paradigms to the virus and overcoming it to to natural versus advanced and technology related I have so many things and feelings about all of these things and I, I really I would love to have some people to brainstorm with to build community with to engage with people that are not afraid to look at the cold hard truth and realize how much we've got it wrong I see people like Russell Brand asking questions and then Rob Greenfield is, is really taking a lot of the approaches of like grow gardens, not lawns. And, and there are people out there, regenerative agricultural people who are showing that there is no reason for anybody to be starving. They are regenerating deserts and making them lush forests of food. We can clean up the air, we can clean up the water, we can decrease the amount of stuff that we're using, we can come together, we can cooperate, we can experience real love and real connection. I know it. I also know that I hold a lot of opinions that cause a lot of people to get their hackles up and I know that as I go forward trying to 
figure out what to do next that I have the possibility of raising some hackles and that's okay because it's not okay to keep being distracted and turning a blind eye to so so many things that are not right out there I've had the chance to have a few friends throughout my life and a few people that really really I think got me and I got and and we could have worked really well together um, with regards to moving forward uh, in in making changes but it would seem that every time that I've I've attempted to go in one of those directions it hasn't worked out so I've stopped exactly like pursuing a direction but I know in my core what feels right and what doesn't and I'm willing to challenge the status quo about anything so I'm asking if anybody is a person who is good at taking that first step who has some ideas, who wants to connect, who wants to collaborate. Um, I will not be getting this, so I will not be able to leave my province, but I am also looking for opportunities within my province or wherever I can travel um, to be able to get to the grassroots and and start doing some good work for the earth and for this, 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 uh, this coming shift and um, I'm asking if any of you out there have you know a place that that you need some help and some ideas and some passion um, if anybody out there is willing to have those really scary conversations about like pretty much everything that we've come to accept as normal and okay are really not um, I'd love to have those chats I don't really think I actually got into the root of what it is that I believe and here we are at almost 27 minutes other than I go with these feelings that I have and at the end of the day all I want is for there to be a future and I believe that we are here to be in service of humanity but in order to be in service of humanity, we have to serve the earth first. It is the only one we have now, folks. So hit me up. Um, I don't do social media anymore. That's one of the things that I have given up. So uh, you can email me at jennylynn2222 at gmail.com or comment below and maybe, you know, Maybe we can, we can do something. I'm not going to go try to rely on the government. I'm not going to go back to the 9 to 5. I am not interested in seeking therapy to find ways to distract myself from what, like, there's really a lot of shit out there. And we need to start doing something and not being distracted and drugged from it. Um, I am not interested in keeping on pretending that anything that's happening outside my own world of control um, is more important than what's happening outside my little world of control and right now my world of control is 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 me and I am trying to be a sovereign human being in a world that we are under so so much control and I'm asking ironically enough for help in being sovereign in order for us to really truly be sovereign as a collective, we need to gain our sovereignty from those narratives and algorithms that have us under their control. And now is the time to act. Um, but I'm paralyzed right now. I don't have the money. I don't have the means to take action myself. But if you are working on uh, the means to take action or you know somebody who can hook a sister up so I can at least get my feet on and hands in the ground and and begin giving back and doing some healing work for this one and only planet I'm your girl I really am I will work hard I will help with ideas I will talk for 
ever. I really, really need people to talk to and engage to about these crazy ideas. I'm not a conspiracy theorist because I don't follow rabbit holes. I come up with ideas, I get thoughts, I write them down, then I go looking and I'm like, oh, hmm, other people are feeling this. So um, I know I'm not alone. So it's you guys that I'm reaching out to that I'm looking for. And uh, yeah, I, I hope this gets to somebody and I hope that somehow I'm not an asshole I'm really not but like there's so many shitty things out there and I just can't get behind most of it and I feel like to do anything less than follow those core beliefs of earth-based love-based connected based thinking is all that matters to me. So connect, connect with me. Thanks.